What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. As you see, man, I'm rocking my pullover hoodie. They will be restocking in about four weeks. So we're going to bring back the blue, black, and we're going to have red. Introduce the new color, red. So be looking out about three to four weeks from now. I'll keep y'all guys updated. Also, gym bags coming soon. They were a hit, so we tripled the inventory. We're doing another launch real soon as well, so we're looking out for that. So, so keep in mind, guys, I'm bulking. Been bulking about two weeks now, and I'm following my classic physique program. Now, the classic physique, ah! the classic physique split goes like this: it's three days in a row, one day off, three days in a row, one day off. You get the drift. Three days in a row, one day off. So one, if you do follow this program. I be getting you guys emails. Do not get this program if you don't have a gym that's open every day. Because because since it's, since it's three days on, one day off, and it's only seven days in a week, some days you may have Sunday on. Some days you may have Sunday off. Some days you may have to go in the gym on a Monday. Some days you have to go in the gym on a Sunday. You know, so if you can't dedicate yourself like that to where you can where you can go any day of the week, don't get this program. This split is not for you. But if your schedule is pretty free and you can go three days on, one day off, no matter what. Fuck with this, you will absolutely love it. It's perfect for me because I train hard as fuck for three days and then I get to rest my body on the fourth day. And the day I rest, I have to run errands. I go to the bank, I go to the grocery store, you know, I wash my truck, stuff like that. Uh, catch up on some sleep, catch up on some emails, maybe record an Ask Beast Mode show. I really like to, that I get a rest day on every fourth day to take care of errands. You know, because I notice when I train six days in a row, I don't really get much done that week because I'm so exhausted and shit like that. But uh, able to have a, a day off every fourth day really helps me a lot tremendously with my schedule. And I just love the split. Because the split goes like this. The first day, chest and arms, right? Then you train legs. Then you train delts and back like today. But here's the fucking kicker, right? It's split up in two different phases. If anybody got my program, you already know about my phase splits, okay? See, the first, the first three days, chest and arms, the chest day is mostly barbell based, right? Then uh, the leg day is based around the quads, right? And then the delts and back day is like this. You hit delts. But the back day is going to be like this, all vertical movements. And then the next time, you know, the next three days when you hit delts and uh, back again, it's going to be all rowing motions. And honestly, uh, this is my favorite way to train back. I noticed early in my bodybuilding journey that when I try to do everything in one workout, you know, rack pulls, pull-ups, pull-downs, fucking rows for the holes from all angles, dumbbell pullovers, I get so exhausted that I'm not really moving a lot of weight. By the time I get to my rows, I'm already tired. So I, I think this is a good way to do all your vertical movements one day, and then the next time you hit back, hit all your horizontal, all your heavy rowing motions. That way you can really give it your all. But right now, I'm on that pump and grind pre-workout. You already know, links in the description for the US and the UK supporters if you wanna fuck with this badass pre-workout. I damn sure need it. I got me a full scoop right now. So I'm gonna drink this pre-workout, get my mind right, get some music playing, and we will see you out. All right, homies and home mess. First and foremost, let's give a shout out to Swole Fester, man. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram. Because you already know, that's family right there. Go ahead and support the homie. Follow him, man. Got a pretty good YouTube channel, too, man. So you're looking for some new blood to watch? Fuck with him. So anyway, man, you already know, full routine will be written at the very bottom of the description. Started off with some face pulls, man, for shoulder health, mobility, get nice and warm. And we did supersets, like I told you guys. You don't have to do supersets. The program is written out, you know, shoulders first and then back. But if you have an open gym and you can do supersets freely, I highly recommend doing supersets. Keeps the heart rate going. You get the gym faster and the pump is incredible. So we started off with close grip uh, pull downs with real delt fly. This right here is the next superset. You're gonna do reverse grip pull down. Now, if your gym has this hammer strength, you just right here. I love this right here. You know 
mean, you eat, each arm is working by itself, and you can bring the elbows all the way back, right? If you don't have this, just use this right here. Okay. Remember, shoulder width grip. Lean back. Pull elbows back. This is the next super set right here. All right, so like I just said, we're doing reverse grip pull downs. If you don't have the hammer strength, just use the cable version with the straight bar, reverse grip, no big deal. Personal preference, I just love this one much more. You're able to pull each arm by itself. That way you can minimize imbalances and you can pull the elbows a little farther back. And we superset that with dumbbell presses seated. Notice I'm controlling and I'm coming all the way down, all the way up. All right, now, next superset. We're doing Smith Machine shoulder press, all right? Notice how I'm controlling all the way down and I'm controlling it up, keeping constant tension on those front delts, all right? Notice in general, if you go back to my old videos, my form is a lot different than it was back in the day. You know, going fast, explosive, and, and choppy and sloppy was not producing any results. So now I make sure I fill every rep and I control it all the way down and I always control it up. We're supersetting Smith Machine shoulder press with pull-ups. And I do mine weighted because for me, pull-ups is not challenging anymore. You know, in the program, I give you a choice between uh, pull-ups or, or pull-down machine. Choose which one's best for you. I mix it up. Sometimes I do, um, you know, pull-down machine and sometimes I do weighted pull-ups. Sometimes I do my body weight for pull-ups. You know, I just mix it up, man. Cause I'm already fucking wide. I don't need to put a whole bunch of thought in my back training. You'll see in just a moment, my back is like my best body part. I don't have to put a whole bunch of, you know, thinking behind my back training. I just come in there and go through the motions. All right, so I superset it parallel grip presses on the leg press with dumbbell pullovers. And I pretty much replaced front raises with parallel grip presses. Just wanted to throw in another pressing variation. All right, so here it is, another superset right here. We're doing one arm at a time pull downs, and I'm super setting that with dumbbell side raises. This exercise right here, I have the tutorial in the program. You already know when you get my programs, there are tutorial videos in the program, so no guessing on form, all right? So one arm lat pull downs to finish off the lats, and we're super setting that with side raises with dumbbells. Good form, nice control, no swinging my lower back and bending my knees, really engaging those delts, man. Those weak fucking delts that need to grow. All right, so traps is part of the back, so why not hit traps with the back and uh, delts training, okay? Like I said, this is vertical movement, so today we're doing upright rows to loosen up those uptight hoes. And the next time we do uh, delts and back, It'll be barbell shrugs, okay? Super setting that with side raises using the cable. And that's all, folks. Be sure to comment below. And let me know what you think. So as you see, I just got done fucking shit up, guys. Uh, for the people that might be asking, I woke up this morning at 198 pounds. You know, as you see, I'm not as late as I was, obviously, at 188, but I'm full, I'm feeling strong. Every lift, I'm getting stronger, so, uh, so far, so good, guys. So, if you follow the Classic Physique program, you know it's three days on, one day off. Today is the third day, which was delts and, uh, and back, uh, vertical movements, and that means tomorrow I get a rest day, and I'm looking forward to it. My body is beat the fuck up. I've been pushing it hard three days straight, so tomorrow I'm just going to rest, wake up maybe do some light cardio i'm gonna show you my cardio video real soon maybe get some frozen yoga get some sushi and just chill you feel maybe record an ass beast mode show for the people and just kick back man enjoy my rest day and get ready to grind for the next three days after that so again you want to follow on my programs go to getholeready.com and don't forget pull over the coming back real soon don't forget to like my shit comment subscribe Holla back at your boy.
inches minimum.